What up, everybody? Welcome back. <clears throat> Little late night draft arena. You guys wouldn't know. They're just watching on YouTube. You don't know what time it is. You have no idea. Could be any time. Wow, that fired really quickly. Sometimes it like I, I click the button and it tosses me in, and I'm like, wow, that was really jarring. So, uh huh. I like a polluted delta. How about you guys? You like a polluted delta? How do you feel about a little delta? <clears throat> the little delta Reno. I'll take it. It's my favorite delta. Ooh, I like an emerald. There's so many things you want to do with an emerald. You want to channel it out. You want to sneak attack it in. You want to through the breach it. Then there's an Urza too. Urza's pretty good. <clears throat> like there's certain cards in the cube I just love taking because they do big, fat, splashy, Timmy things. And that's what I enjoy. I'm like, oh, let me do a big, stupid monster thing. <sighs> Ever want to make love to it? Not as much as you'd think, you know? Maybe, maybe, maybe a while back, but not, not presently, you know? I kind of just want to take Urza, but also Emrakul. Cast it for 15, Legacy. <clears throat> you know what? I can't pass it up. I want to I want to put an Emrakul into the, into the combat. I want to put it into the combat. Get it in there. I want to pay 15 life with an Emrakul on the top of my library for a Bolas of Citadel. Um fascinating fascinating it's not indestructible right no no it's not you can crack as it back and then go again that's true I, I i find it odd that the game would go that long but what can you do preordain's good oh my god i almost put my emerald back i don't think that's the thing you can do but it felt like it almost happened <clears throat> Plus, we can just take blue cards even if we don't play the Emrakul. I like Scarab God. I never was big on Funko Pox, but I just realized it's a Planeswalker line and it were all of them. How much was Liliana? You know, Funko Pops are interesting. I don't think anyone's big on them, but I feel like everyone has a couple. I have a couple. I have two Moon Knights and a Stan Lee. Probably a couple more, to be honest. And, like, I don't even love Funko Pops, but they're just kind of cool representations of characters I like. So, I'm going to take Charter Course. Let's take cheaper cards. And that's what we're looking for. That's, that's a bingo. That's the card, right? You're kind of a representation of characters I like. I don't think so. I don't think so. Here's Dark Confidant. Is this early enough? I don't want to. I don't think this is. I don't know if we're pivoting into Cabal and Stip though. <laughs> yeah, Dark Confident and Emrakul would be friggin' amazing. There's also nothing in this pack that I care about. I'll take a Sacred. F oh, we got a Delta. Maybe it's a mannequin. I don't even know. We could chart a course into Emrakul off of mannequin. Sure. <sighs> Suspicious stowaway. Yes, please. That is a that is a fine gentleman. I do like a gold span dragon quite a bit. I also think Doretti's pretty good. I want to take the gold span dragon. Rakdos Siggy. Mizzy and Mortars could just be great here. I'm going to take the Rakdos Signet. <clears throat> I feel like we can probably go Grixis here. So we formed ourselves into tight groups. The idea was the Funko Pops come to the nearest man. What is happening? Hold on. This is this is a whole story, right? This is like a... This is like a segment out of the Catcher on the Rye over here. What do we got? Mountain, Forest, Plains? I don't need any of those things. Okay. 
So we formed ourselves in a tight group. So the idea was the Funko Pops come to the nearest man and he starts pounding and hollering and screaming. Sometimes the Funko Pop go away. Sometimes he wouldn't go away. Sometimes that Funko Pop, he looks right into you, right into your eyes. You know, the thing about a Funko Pop, he's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eye. What is that? Is that from something? Okay, if you're going to do my step, don't worry about looking for confidence. It's not necessarily just cool. Okay, so see, just the, the way you worded it, you literally put confidant first. So I felt like it was, oh, you took Hero of Blade Hold instead of the, instead of the Grim Lava Mancer that I had highlighted. That's, how oh, nice. Thank you. Wonderful. It's Quinn Speedrun. <laughs> okay, that's very good. And I really, I'm, I'm actually kind of sad I didn't pick up on that. I love Jaws. I love Steven Spielberg. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Eh, I guess we'll take the hops. Mesmo. Thundery. It's mostly just taking pain stuff. Yeah, okay, that's that's good to know. And Escapo. This deck is all over the place right now. But we do have through the Reach Emrakul, you know? That's really all you need. I, I just like taking blue things because there's no better feeling than opening... Um, Time Walker Ancestral Recall, you know? He said hoping to open Time Walk or Ancestral Recall, and yet there was none. I guess it's just Burberry... Bribery's still good. That's okay. Maybe our opponent took Black Lotus or Soul Ring is going to pass us. Bribery or uh, Ancestor Recall Soul Ring or. You know what? I don't, it doesn't matter. These aren't even words that I'm saying. It's literally just a bunch of gibberish. There's a Keeks McJeeks, which is pretty good. It's another combo for our, for our deck. And we can copy Emrakul. Just kidding. It's legendary. Kiki Jiki doesn't like that. How does clicking work for graveyard order? Is it left click equals top of graveyard? I have no idea what that even means. Um. I like Remand a lot. Like if multiple things die at the same damage, they, they let you know. I think you put them in order. Yeah, you click on, yeah, like the first one you click will be the first one to go, then second one goes after that. I think Spiral of Canal, easy choice. We need lands. Especially with triple, double. Ulamog. You're not the Ulamog we want. We want to be we want to be annihilating. <clears throat> but I will take this expressive iteration. Expressive iteration. <laughs> One thing I, I like doing is um turning every song into a variation of uh Californication. What do you think? I'm a fool, Amog? <laughs> oh, boy. Chris, I miss you, buddy. I like a daze. Happy days are here again. This is actually a very cheap deck until you get to the expensive stuff, you know? You know what I'm saying? Where's the volcanic island? Give it to me now. Give it to me now. 
I know you don't care about the ice stick game, but I need your team to lose on Saturday. I'm going to cry and shake and throw. Jesus, God, you really escalated quickly there. Christopher, I really, really do appreciate your love for the Kraken. But I got I to gotta stick behind my lightning, bro. Unless you're referring to the Avalanche. I don't know where you're referring to. See, that's how little about, that's how little hockey I'm watching right now. Uh, does he wreck Sark? The Avs? Oh, the old Avalanche arenas. Okay. I have less loyalty to the, to the Colorado Avalanche. Gristlebrand is worth sneaking attacking. Sneaking attacking. <laughs> Who talks like that? I think we're just going to take Kolagon's command, though. Um, fire blast. Sure. Toxic deluge. Sure. That seems good, actually. A one mana, one one colored pip sweeper. Put that in your nose for science. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Put it in your nose. Do it for science. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know it was an electric screwdriver. I thought it was a nose hair trimmer. My bad. Red Elemental Blast is a really interesting inclusion. I mean, obviously, so is Blue Elemental Blast, I guess. Shallow Grave. Shallow Grave gets Emrakul just as much as Makeshift Mannequin does. I want to put it in the main deck for now. And you discard. Man, look at that. Our reanimator is coming together. Not really, but maybe. And still no power. God, I'm really bad at opening power. It's 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 really sad. None of these are any good. I mean, I just, I, maybe I just take reanimate for the for the possibility, but we've already passed Gristlebrand and the ten mana Ulamog, which can be reanimated. So I don't know what's left, but nothing in here really feels good. I, I don't know what Wheel does for us. I think I just want reanimate. Oh God, I don't know, man. Like, what are we hoping to get with Wheel? Like, Shield Red? I doubt it. I'm going to take Reanimate. I think we have a good setup for it. Island, Swamp, Mountain. That's actually really good. That gives us something to get with our Polluted Delta. And this pack is also Poops Magoops. Roxa. We can pitch a Masakre Worm. Actually, don't hate that. Animate Dead, too. Oh, man, now I'm really wishing we took that Gristle Brand, to be honest. We could just take Grief as well. Grief has been very good. Masakri Worm? What did I say? Did I say Massacre? God, I feel so stupid. <sighs> this is old Hee Haw Mouth. Look at that beautiful, that beautiful gummy smile. It's either Grief or Animate Dead. I think it's Grief here. I don't think we're hard enough on Reanimate. God, I love a Baleful Strix, but I think it's actually Worm Coil for the sake of like the reanimation cards. There's a corpse dance. Oh, Zealous Conscripts. Yes, please. Uh, I actually love Bone Shards as a discard outlet. That's actually a pretty good pickup there. I 
Marsh Flats only gets Xander's Lounge currently. It's just not bad, but it doesn't really do anything. I'll just take the Blood Chief's Thirst. Look, the wheel came back. That's how little everyone cares. This deck's kind of all over the place. Take out the Goldspan Dragon. I think you're not good enough on your own. Uh, Ignite Memories and Past in Flames. What a combination. What a wild combo. This deck's mana base is not ideal. In fact, you might say it's rough. Still have, ooh, steel. Oh, the Croxa comes back. That's fascinating. This actually seems like a reasonable Croxa deck. We have lots of cheap cards that can go in the the Grumper. Hmm. Well, in that, in that case, I guess I'll put you in the deck. Put you in the game, Coach. Probably take out Makeshift Mannequin since we got Reanimate and Shallow Grave. But it does get back Emrakul. The animate dead comes back? Good grief. Uh, if you watch me on two devices, yeah, for sure. I'll never tell. Uh, here's downfall is fine. Corpse dance, wow. And oath of druids, you got it. Okay, so <sighs> wow. This deck is wild. <sighs> Three fixing lands. Jesus. Fucking brutal. Ace Brutal. Oh, I'll take Days out. You're kind of garbage, right? All things considered. We can board in Toxic Deluge if we really want to. One cut, one cut, one cut. Emrakul, we have Through the Breach and Shallow Grave. Oh, what up, Fritz? I can see taking out Choops, too. I do have a stowaway. Get out. Okay, mana value. Uh, no, we're going to do mana rarity. Yeah, no, that's not. That's definitely not how you sort a deck. Okay. Um. Pfft, wow. How's this so bad? Okay. Uh. <laughs> so blue, we have five, six, seven, eight. It's not bad. Five, six, seven, eight. Black. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight, eight. Could definitely be worse. Wow, that's not terrible. All right, let's see what we can do. Yes, sort my deck by word count. I feel like every card would be in a different column. Are we including title and card type or just text box? What does word count affect? Does it also affect, affect artist? What about the copyright information? That seems like a wash, though. Everyone's going to have almost the same, right? So... Does MGGO even have flavor text? Yes, on cards that have it. 
Right here, made of bone and boiled in blood, Arakto Signet is not considered finished until it has been used as a murder weapon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Prismari students dance in the tension between passion and perfection. Good help is hard to dig up. Well, at least all that arm waving and arcane babbling you did was impressive. Three games on MTGO. And this guy works at Card Kingdom. Can you believe it? Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, suspicious stowaway. Keep me in business. We don't sell cards on MTGO. You know, that's a good point, Chris. I apologize. I've clearly made a big mistake. Yep, that's pretty good. That is a thing. And now, now this just dies to Liliana. Sounds good. Sounds wonderful. Man, I was like, yes, we're going to get stowaway. We're going to be able to loot some of these lands away. Just kidding. What if we wait till they get to seven and then we zealous conscripts their Liliana and then we ultimate it? Is that a plan we can, we can execute? So they go to five, three lands. They go to six, four lands. They go to seven, five lands. Drop it like it's hot. That's the plan. That's what we're doing. Oh, the blue mana does complicate this a bit. So this just gets a Swamp or an Island currently. So let's go Swamp, I guess. They got three cards. What are the odds? pretty good that is uh, pretty 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 good let's see if we could win this time with our liliana emblem sometimes you just know exactly what the uh, thumbnail is going to be zealous conscripts Yes, I see. Fascinating, fascinating. Oh, Black Lotus. One, two, three, four, five. You have eight mana right now? That's a lot. But only two cards. But that's... Oh, oh, Jesus. That's a good one. Red mana, one time. That's not a red mana. So I want to kiki-jiki, copy this guy, steal this guy, and just do it forever, you know? Let's do this. Crack it. Uh, 
Uh, I, I don't think I attack here. It seems, you know, not great. That guy having vigilance is quite obnoxious. Oh, we can't steal it. It's got pro red. Never mind. Dang it. At least I figured it out before you guys said something, because that makes me feel better about myself, you know? So now we really want, like... I don't know, we got a bunch of removal, right? Am I just not meant to win game? Oh, if they wanna, oh, if they're, are they gonna echo of eons? That might be good for us. High tide first. This is wild. Oh, I guess I could just make infinite duders. That feels correct, yes. No, Chris is asking why wouldn't I just make infinite guys instead of stealing this. A, I couldn't steal this, and B, making infinite guys is probably better. This is why they pay Chris the big bucks. Not on Magic Online, though, but, you know. Fascinating. Worm Coil Engine is the vote. Okay. Buddy... I have actually had quite a bit of, of difficulty with Sphinx of the Steel in my previous few few videos. And like I guess once. But still it was quite problematic. So Emrakul. Reanimate. Well that is a thing, isn't it? Let's see what you got. Show me what you've got. Oh. <laughs> uh, that was actually pretty good. 4, 8, 12, 16. So you gain 6, you go to 29. Might as well get three in the face. Like, one is going to die regardless, right? So, three at Jace. They block a big one. He still takes six. Yeah, this seems fine. I like that instead of killing a zombie, they just blocked the Zealous Conscripts. So they gotta be dead next turn, right? Because this is a lot of zombies. I guess they could draw... They can't even draw damn. I guess they could, because they pay for double white. But, keep in mind, they lose their Sphinx and we just start rebuilding, so that's cool. <sighs> Sphinx of the Steel Wind is a real piece of junk. God, that thing is... It's wild. How did they get that out? Did you just hard cast it? Crazy. Crazy days, man. Massacre Worm can probably come out. <laughs> they did die. Yeah, Choops does beat Sphinx. That's a true story. What if our mana is actually just fine? Can you imagine? What a time that would be, you know? Mm, yeah, this is a good one. Turn two Croxa into turn three Preordain. Try to find something. I mean, assuming they're going to Lily Album again is... I think Lily Emblems are rare. That being said, they'll probably Lily Emblem again. Black, 
red. Croxa. I was just going to say, I've never emblemed with that. Yeah. Like, ideally, we have enough uh, threats to not let them get to seven, but. You know, anything can happen. Lingering Souls, a solid put in the graveyard. Playing that to keep our options open, because I'm not going to look for lands here. Oh, I kind of want both of these. I will take both of these, sure. Hmm. Only time I've ever had a Lily Emblem cube, I ritualed it out on turn one. Yeah, that's what they did. I'm not sure if you were here for that. Manitoid. Yeah, but like I feel like once you get it down on turn one, it's a lot easier to... Are they going to draw three right now? That's brutal. I don't like it. Nothing I can do about this, right? I don't think so. That's life, man. Yeah, they turn one... Uh, I think they turn one Cabal Ritual. Or, it might have just been Dark Ritual. Or turn two Cabal Ritual into... You know, I actually forgot. I bet I can just back up and figure it out, though, right? Oh, they Lotus Petaled Cabal Ritual into Liliana. Yep. Sure. Give me a little... Little gentleman's here. Don't be a land. Chupacabra I cannot cast. Remember that, that conversation we were having about lands? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't necessarily cast Chupacabra anyway. Dark Red is classier. <laughs> also fewer cards as well, so. Okay, nothing. That's that's friendly. That's a that's a that's a card to see. You gonna counter my expressive iteration? Spell queller. That's unfortunate. So I'm one black shy of this, one black shy of this. This is one damage shy. Well, that's sad. Oh my god, Ollie and Trazi with the raid again. God, man, you're my favorite, dude. I guess I'll just take four here. 
I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't call me Lapouche right there. That seems like a, a, a missed opportunity, my friend. Wow. The lesser Lapore. Yeah. I'm really sorry to have ruined your ruined your rating evening. Ooh, a stowaway. This is I'm discouraged by what's happening right now. Where's all my manas? Ollie was the one who first called me Lapouche. When the rules say don't bring in drama, does that mean we can't whine about the No, that's not drama, that's just life. Guys, oh, y'all are, y'all are something else. Let me tell you. God, where's my second black source? Is that, can we do it? Can we just get a second black source? Fatal Poosh. That's actually pretty funny. I'm a fan of what you're saying right now. That's fine. Man, they were just looking for a reason to play their, their, their murderous rider. Well, actually, they cast the card Swift End. <laughs> Murderous Rider is the creature. It's a 2-3 with lifelink, you see. Mm, yes. Thank you. I'm just going to cast this. Coligon's Command. Return. One, two. I'm just tired of not casting things, I guess. <laughs> Ollie was the poop on a hold. Ollie with the so Thank you, buddy. Man, now Ollie gets the big streaming bucks so he can he can splurge with his with his prime sub. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Am I really a math doctor? No. No. I did not get a degree in math doctorology. Oh god, here we go. What is this? What's this gonna be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. High tide. They're doing me dirty. I don't even know what's going on. This could be anything. Even a boat. Kind of was a boat. Look, it's a high tide. It's got a boat in it. Oh, interesting. Uh, this isn't necessarily better, especially when there's no additional black sources. So these two are already in my hand. Hmm curious I like that they did a high tide without like they don't know what they're gonna get so it's like sure I'm kind of feeling now I feel like we bring toxic deluge man oh solid solid mox arena so we've seen ancestral time twister and mox seems good Seems good. No shortage of hot value cards. Yeah, this hand is just the same, but worse. Fantastic. You're doing well for yourself. Oh, yes, they have Black Lotus in game one. No, did they? Yes, they did. They cast, uh, yes, they have Lotus, Mox, Time Twister, and Ancestral. Literal four out of nine power. That's very good. You almost got 50% of the power that exists. That's, I'm impressed. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven damage, eight, nine, 10. If they play a spell, if they play two spells, we don't stand a chance. That's just a good deck building. That's true. I should have built my deck better. It's really my own fault. I have no one to blame but myself. If I play Rakdos Saint, I have one, two, three, four, five mana. This costs four. That's, a, that's unexciting. Let's do one of these jobbies. What can we draw? Nobody knows. We did get Charter Course. I do feel like I won. My islands. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was like, it's not land, right? Just making sure. Oh, I definitely feel like there's going to be a game three. Just, just, just guessing. Just, just guessing. Oh, for a second I thought he was like overloading and I was like, what? Because I've never cast that for two mana. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you get me to, can you do it? Can you cast one more spell? No, that's not it. You're just going to put me to one? Nope. Here we go. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Masakre Worm and Toxic Deluge coming back in. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Man, oh man. Maybe take out Remand? This deck is all over the place, guys. I wonder if they took out their... They might have taken out their big stuff after we briberied them. Which makes me wonder if bribery is even still good. And I don't know if it is. Oh, nice. You know, I joke, but this actually might be nice. We can go Bone Shards, Kill Something, Reanimate, Worm Coil. Is that worth it? Is that Galaxy Brain enough? What if they have Council's Judgment? Then we're just dead, right? Mm, this is not necessarily better. Unless we hit Emrakul. Keep. Is that a mountain? Yeah, okay. Dunzo. I'm just gonna do this now. I don't I got I got I got stuff to do, man. Who has time to sit there and wait till they're in stab and crack it then? Come on. Yeah, they're like Island Lotus Jace the Mind Sculptor, and you're like, well played. Fair game. I mean, we're hoping we draw Black Source Emrakul, right? That's, oh, there's, there's one. Let's see if they play their second mox. <laughs> I am dead inside. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh fuck off. Oh, fucking fantastic. We're having a good time. Having a good time. Well, that was a turn one. <laughs> Every fucking time, dude. Every time. Tempted to sack the Choops, because then we can actually Shallow Grave the Choops and kill their Lurus. That yeah, seems fine. God, getting Lotus every turn, though. What a fucking beating, man. Still be the fucking game. I mean, it's, it's, in, it's a turn one kill in the sense of demoralization where I feel incredibly demoralized. You know, if that counts. 
sometimes you just play matches like this and you're like, okay, well, I wasn't going to win, so what can you do? Turn one, you feel dead inside. That's correct. Yeah, Lurus and Lotus is a hell of an interaction. It's almost like they even sound similar. I discarded the, s the balance, huh? Well, let's play this guy. Do your worst. So now I can go Lotus, Crack Lotus, Lotus, Mox, Planes. Sure. <laughs> Get probing. I mean, our deck is kind of all over the place. I mean, you know, to be fair, it's not like it's... Yeah, look at the lotuses. Lotuses forever. Correct, yes. Suspicious Stowaway does not let us cast Emrakul off of Shallow Grave. Because by the time you've already attacked, that's when your discard takes place. Nine mana. It's just like Time Twister? Sphinx? Sure. But you know I have Shallow Grave with Ravenous Chupacabra. Man, that interaction is fresh. You know what else is fresh? HelloFresh, which happens to be a sponsor of the stream. Be sure to get 21 free meals plus free shipping. Me and Katie got about six meals coming to us on Saturday. They're going to be about $5 each. It's a hell of a bargain. And HelloFresh has some, some solid eats too, so... I really just want to... Do I just want to do this for six? I mean, probably, right? Let's make sure we play a land because they do have Time Twister and... Time Spiral and Echo of Eons and <laughs> Just kidding, I don't know if they have all of those, but they have at least Time Twister, and that's important. Also, if you're here from Ollie's stream, definitely follow or subscribe if you want to support the channel or if you like the content. It had no, yeah, we can't loot, it has negative power. It was given negative two, negative zero from Jace Telepath Unbound. So it would not deal combat damage. Magic the Gathering is a tricky game. Lots of moving pieces. What are they? Really? Fascinating. Cataxian Probe. Jace draw a card for negative three. Well, that has the potential to be good someday, but not today. Oh good, it's night, thank goodness. No, if it triggered on attack, that'd be great. That'd be too good. Usually blue looters have to connect, like looter real core. What do they flash back? Cataxium probe. It was surprisingly underwhelming, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's a good one. Can we draw a land Emrakul? Colagon's command.
Uh, I guess we're just getting a suspicious stowaway back. We can't cast it, but... In the future, we might be able to. Jace just keeps on, keeps on getting up there. Keeps on keeping on, you know? <laughs> getting close, getting close. This has been a long game. Sure. Double black now. Does that do anything? Couldn't say. Remember this, it deals combat damage, draw a card. Sure. Okay. One land. One land. doing now Bolus's Shitadel, huh? That's pretty good. <sighs> yep, that is sad. <sighs> Never fails. <laughs> Oh, welcome to the school of never don't have it. Sure. <laughs> oh, boy. Jesus. Lotus Petal for free. Yeah, you're doing good. I mean, it's also what turn, turn eight, and we have yet to hit a fifth land. So, you know, whose fault is it really? What? Okay, halfway there. Oh, I should have shallow graved there. I should have shallow graved for ravenous chupacabra to kill this guy. Yeah, that was a misplay. Maybe we'll just top deck Emrakul, though. That'd be pretty cool, right? God, can you imagine if we top deck Emrakul? It's not going to happen, but. That would be cool. It's less cool now. <laughs> but still reasonably cool, I guess. Nothing we're doing, right? No. I saw I saw the the silver card and I was like, oh and it was not it was not your boy. Mentor, Council's Judgment, Ancestral Vision. Yeah, they just sack permanence with, with... Actually, you can't sack lands, right? Yeah, that doesn't matter. You can sack Citadel. You just can't sack lands. Um, yeah, I'll take Council's Judgment, your one removal spell, I guess. 
should have played this first, but I'm not very good at magic. So. There's that. See, this would be a sweet deck for Fallen Shinobi, especially with Suspicious Stowaway, but they took Fallen Shinobi out of the cube. So that's unfortunate. I think we're... No, we're not dead yet. Now we're dead. Three, four, five. Yeah, if they activate Tar Pit, we die. They've also taken about seven more minutes than us, so maybe eight? Who knows? Sure, dude. I mean, I guess don't win the game. Just, just waste our time. <laughs> oh, God. Just activate Creeping Tar Pit and kill me, dude. Please. I have one blocker, so I can't block Grief. I can't block Creeping Tar Pit. And I probably don't have a response with one blue mana up. But I guess if you just want to do cute nonsense... That's fine. I mean, it wasn't even cool, right? Like, it wasn't even like, hey, I'm going to, you know, channel for, you know, an Emrakul. Or, like, it wasn't like something super cool. It was just like, Narset, make you not draw any cards. Like, okay. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's frustrating. Like, it's very kind of, it's it just very kind of like rub-ins from the deck with four pieces of power in it. <laughs> I'm so tilted, I just literally didn't play a land. God. Talk about numb scullery. Yep, that was, wow, I just like, oh, I have six. Whatever. Whatever. What's What's one turn among friends, you know? It was very narcissistic. That's what we're looking for. That's what Papa wants to see. Yeah, unfortunately I was on the play, so I would not have to discard the hand size. And this does not discard the hand size the way you think it does. All right. Zealous Conscrellus. We're going to pass and play uh, Kulligan's Command if we don't remand something. Yeah, I'll remand that. Preordain here. Bottom both. Ah. Okie dokie. Artichoke. Well, we have five lands even without the Xandar's Lounge, so I'd rather just keep up Kolagon's command here. You got it.
Discard, kill an artifact. Let's just draw through the breach. We deserve it. That's so close. Days. All right, this is a little better. Don't have lightning bolt. Are they pitching for fury? No. Are they just losing their Narset? Yes. Thank you. I'm tempted to reanimate this baleful Strix just for the card. Oh, Moldrifter? Shoot. That's better. Wow. I didn't know you discarded that. If we steal Narset, we don't get to kill it, though. Sure. I just wanted the cards anyway. You get to negative two if they had bolt. What does that mean? I mean, this is where you want them to just play something stupid, right? Like play something irrelevant, like a grave titan. That's all you want. I don't I don't have the stomach for this for this pyretic ritual nonsense. <sighs> Yogmoth's will. If they actually just play Narset from the graveyard, we win, right? That feels like kind of what they want to do. Do it. Oh, this battle station will be quite operational. Don't play breach. Oh, them. That's that's what we were hoping for. That's a big fat donut. They're setting up for the time twister. I'm setting up to kill them. I will copy this gentleman. Are you going to make me do it? Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Really? And save targets. Okay, that's pretty good. And save target as Kiki Jiki. Oh, that's pretty good. Wow, that's great. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's a new feature. 
Holy shit, that's so satisfying. Whoever came up with this deserves a raise. I'm going to keep doing it until they want to concede. Like, if they want to waste my time. I can waste their time, too. Stop it. I mean, like, come on, man. Like, why would you make me play this out? No, they're still there. They're clicking through. Cool. Negative 100. <laughs> nice. Oh, God. Don't waste my time. Wait, we should have brought this in last game. What were we thinking? Oh, my God. I totally forgot this was in the cube, let alone our sideboard. Holy shit. What a numbskull. This doesn't feel like a Masquerum deck. I don't know. Hero's Downfall? You're probably pretty good, right? And a law degree? What a talented young goblin. That's true. Yeah, where were you guys? Why didn't you... Why didn't you tell me? I guess they got reanimate? No, for Hero's Downfall? Yeah, that seems fine. Let's do that. All right, well... This is a good hand. I'll keep it. Oh, I went to six. On the play? No less. Unbelievable. How could things go? Also, don't forget that was the game where I missed my first turn land drop, so they were also advantaged in such a way. I will also play an island. Baral. Bloodthirst. Blood Chief's Thirst. Sounds good. Cycle in the malls. Getting in there. Sure, you got it. Uh, That's pretty good. Uh, put one into your hand. I think this guy goes into the hand. You know, just to have, right? Put one of them on the bottom island. Exile one of them. Sure. Play the land. Sounds good. Oh, we got a discard. I guess I'll discard Warm Coil Engine, right? Sure. I mean, it's so far away, you know. What we want to do is keep Red Elemental Blast up. Which means we'd love another red source. Now, a worm in the hand is worth two in the bush. I've heard that before. I think that's a 
It's an Irish proverb. Oh, blue source. That's like a red source. Well, I have nothing to do here. We could chart a course, hope for like an anime dead. God, I feel like Red Alliance of Blast is so strong. I'm like... We did have a flying worm. Okay, another blue source. So we're gonna big we're gonna big chart. Fascinating. There is another red source. So we're gonna drop that like it's scalding hot. So now we have bribery. We can keep up red elemental blast and Coligon's command. This also destroys Baral too, just to be clear. What a wild Magic the Gathering card. I have five cards. Is it even worth it to play Bribery here? Yes. It surely is. They might have nothing. You know, we have to come to terms with the fact that this might be nothing. But why would you counter it if it's nothing? Curious. <laughs> oh, <Okay, okay. laughs> Don't fine. Don't show me your deck. All right then. Keep y'all secrets. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um. All right. So I guess they did have creatures in their deck that were so good that they couldn't even bear for us to take them. I understand. Can we 2-1 with this deck? I don't know. Makes you twin for negative 100. Scoops to bribe around the stack. Talk about like being inconsistent with how you play to your outs. <laughs> Maybe he misclicks and doesn't make enough tokens. But then once I have like 30, like you can concede then, right? Maybe he misclicks and attacks Narset. But then you don't give me the same benefit of the doubt with like bribery, right? You know, it's just a funny, it's a comedy of errors, really. Hey, who you calling a comedy of errors? Oh man, another island, basic island, basic mountain deck. Curiouser and curiouser. Ooh, another bribery. Get busy bribing. Get busy living or get busy bribing. Ooh. Ooh. They're like, thanks, I'm going to reanimate that guy. I'm going to be like, oh no, what have I done? They did not reanimate anybody. Chart a Corsals. Does this sacrifice or exile it? Exile at the beginning. Dang, so we don't even get the tokens. God, Urgh. oh curses! Get rid of Wormy Boy. We still have the potential for suspicious stowaway into Emrakul. We also have the potential for just briberying them. So the game—it's not over yet. See, the bad thing about playing Explosive Iteration next turn is that you always want to hit a land off of it. But it would have to be a blue land to also play Stowaway. Otherwise, we play it with these two. We play a Swamp, and then we can't cast Iteration. And we also don't want to. So we might just play Swamp, followed by Iteration. And that's That actually gives me more hope that it might be a blue source on top. But honestly, like... Oh, it doesn't even matter. This isn't actually an out for, for Emrakul. 
So yeah, you're you're right. That's that's true. We've already went over that. Ooh, a Spire Bluff Canal, huh? I think with this hand, we're just going for the island because I just do want to get Suspicious Stowaway down. Uh, put one of them into your hand. The Thirst. Bottom. Play. Yeah, that, that feels good. Thank seven, you. seven Lifelink Flyer, dude. What is that? What are you saying right now? Who is that? Dan Snacks, oh my god, buddy. What's up, dude? Dan Snacks, where are you working these days? I think I forgot. Also, I'm on the job hunt again if you have uh, <laughs> if you have any leads now. Because uh, last, kind of like early December, our whole team was uh, let go, unfortunately. Not my stowaway. This is actually, I mean, this is better than hitting a land because, because bribery. See, that's fascinating because Worm Coil and Emrakul are both out here. This makes me curious what they're going to get. Kiki Jiki? Kiki Jiki seems really good. Coffee Riff Wing, that's got to be the play. Yep. Yep, Bounce Sanders Lounge. That's really good. But now we just get to kill Kiki Jiki, I guess. So. Obnoxious, but ultimately fine. That's interesting. What does that do? All right. They have two cards. They did not top during their upkeep, which is good for us. Yeah, I'm very glad we have Emrakul in, in hand. Would not have worked out well for us if we didn't. <sighs> grief. Good grief. It might just be grief first so that we know our bribery will or will not resolve. We could also just cast it by exiling like reanimate, but then we could also just reanimate like worm coil engine, or we could just play Crocs if we could. There's a lot of options here, as you guys can see from my train of thought. Um, I feel like they they kind of might have a counter spell, but that's fine. Exile a black card from your hand, sure. He's going to try to push something through here. Now we get to see if it's even worth doing. Uh, I mean, if we discard the hand size, the, like we're doing it at the end of our turn and the Emrakul is going to go away on the end of their turn. Exile at the beginning of the next end step, which would be on their turn. So, technically you can do it, but you don't get to keep the Emrakul to attack with. Choose target opponent. There's only one. Repeal, dismember. I guess we're getting rid of repeal. Play this guy. All right. Oof. Vendillion Click, Spellseeker. This is an interesting hand. Wow. Or, or deck. I guess they're just playing nonsense combo. <laughs> uh, they don't have a Splinter Twin in the deck. 
or Kiki Jiki. So do they just have like Deceiver, Pestermite, and Zealous? With no way to combo? <laughs> Narset twin 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 time twister again. I don't understand. I'm genuinely very confused here. Twins not in hand. We just literally grief them. We know they have Rogrin Trium and Dismember. Uh, we can Shallow Grave Kiki, but we know they have Dismember in hand. So that seems suspicious. I think it's just Muldrifter here. Just draw two. It's unexciting, but it blocks their Cloudscape. And it draws us two. So, you know, it's 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 Muldrifter, right? Cycle Trial. Seems good. I mean, I probably would have topped then. I guess, I don't know if it matters, really. But then you get to choose what you draw, right? So, what do I know? This Emrakul is really, really doing us dirty. Unholy Heat. Okay, so we know you have one card in hand. It's this member. Seems good. That gives us some time, I think. That's a red source. So I think it's just preordained signet, suspicious stowaway, Xander's Lounge here. Seasoned Pyromancer, Shallow Grave. That's a play. Um, we do need a second red, so we're just going to keep the Pyromancer. No, we don't. We have Rakdos, Signet, and Xander's Lounge. That's 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 a thing. Plus we get a, a token from it as well. So let's see let's see if that's a thing we can do. Ooh, that's exciting. I feel like we're so close. Pyromancer, discard Emrakul, Emrakul, trigger on the stack, shallow grave. All right, we also have Croxa in the graveyard, which we could easily get back now. Which goes away once we Emrakul. Are they gonna dismember this guy? That seems... What, you just did that. <laughs> you just did it. <laughs> With this on the stack, so you knew it was gonna be there. I don't understand. All right. Ooh, we flipped. It's even better. Masakre worm, huh? When life is hard, you can always crumble. You can always go any order. <laughs> We're gonna get Emrakul back. I hope you didn't hit a counter spell. That would be bad. Emrakul. <laughs> Get one card. You drew one card. I can't. <laughs> How does it happen? How does it happen every time? Oh my God. Uh, it's just like you can't help but laugh, man. <sighs> now dismember this guy. Yep. All right. All according to plan. So now you have no cards in hand. I guess that is why they play Pester right with no Kiki. With all your strength. I mean, we can just play this guy next turn, right? That seems good. But it was not good.
We go to five. We're just hoping this guy resolves, I guess. Yeah, someone else said they can just bribe your Kiki Jiggy. I might take it out, actually, because of this, this development. <laughs> they never not have it. You know what else would be great to have? A meal subscription to HelloFresh using Frank's link. God, he's right. Burn Rider is so smart. 34, five, six. Play a land just to keep it up. So I don't get wrecked by a misdirection or something. Here we go. Okay, this is it. This is good. They're looking, so they don't know. Oh, yeah, put them in the trash can. Get them out of here. Now we're feeling better, and I'm glad they wasted Dismember on the stowaway, because now we just get to keep 6-5. Alright. Can the, the Worminator do it? Of course it can't. Dude, the fucking draw is back to back, like Pestermite into Zealous Conscripts when those are the exact cards you need to kill me. Jesus Lord. Have have mercy. In the words of Uncle Jesse from Full House. Have mercy. I kind of want days in here too, just for like the get -ems. God, we were so close. We had it. We had Emrakul on board and then they top deck a Pestermite. Who knows? Let's get rid of Deceiver Exarch. We already took out the other guy. Jesse is not your real uncle. <laughs> is that true, Grandma? Wow. That's terrible. You think you know a guy. Is this even good? This seems terrible. Unless we magically get to through the breach mana, draw an Emrakul, and nothing happens. This seems better. We still get to through the breach. Keep. Let's, let us ship Zealous Conscripts for now. I don't think they do as much. Without, uh, without your boy Kikums. Kokomes. <laughs> oh, boy. What is it? Cut it out. Is that how he does it? You do the scissors and then you point for it and then out. <laughs> he said, love your videos. And I'm like, thanks. I appreciate that. Your top decks, however, mm, less so. Very nice indeed, he says. Maybe for one of us. Not me. Is this a mirror match? I'm just gonna crack this now. I ain't got nothing to hide. Jace Signato. Um, I like Pyromancer because it puts some pressure on the board, but there's nothing I really want to discard here. Maybe Blood Chief's Thirst. But I do like having an answer to like a Liliana. I think we're... Hmm. I guess I could just discard one, right? Oh no, you do literally have to discard two. I think we'll just discard the chart, of course, then. 
Yeah, it's. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get too deeper anyway, which is basically what Charter Course does. Preordain's good if we're trying to hit that Emrakul. There's just five head. Yeah, they're playing five head D chess. Whatever that is. Come on, you know what it is. They, they, they got the free land like you do. Correctly done. Can't play that from exile, sad days. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's actually fine. Okay, let's do this jobby. Kind of don't want either of these. That's good to see both of those bad boys. Uh... Oh. Okay. Okay, the dream is currently alive. Okay. Okay. Okay, dokie. Oh no, they didn't do anything. That's frightening. Well, less frightening with that guy, I guess. So we're going to just play him. Oh. Oh dear. What on earth? Okay, okay. Deceiver Exarch would have ruined our day. They have one turn. Okay, okay. Exarch ruined our day. <laughs> okay, let's see what the top deck is. Come on. Island, island, island. This is it. Oh, we actually could have done it last time by just discarding this, but not knowing what they had. This is it. All right, cool. I'll take six. Both these guys are going to be tapped. That's going to be the game. I believe. Unless they... Even if they top like, like Force of Negation or Force of Will... Can I show you my boy? Oh, got him. All right, all right. One down. Okay. I would like Mesmeric Fiend a lot, but they do have a lot of removal, it seems like. I also kind of want Hero's Downfall just to get rid of their stupid... That's actually probably better than Blood Chief's Thirst. Like, I'm almost always paying four for Blood Chief's Thirst against them. And it's not even an instant, so. I actually like this a lot, interestingly enough. Hold on one second. I'm going to restart this because it's going really slow. Okay. This is turn two. This is turn one. We just played our guy. And then we're going to pass. Oh, that's so much better. God, it's so ridiculous that we have to do that. Nature is healing. <laughs> See, that's funny. Aaron, what's up, buddy? Good seeing you, my dude. Oh my god, look at this. Do we just get to go? Oh, that's good. That guy's big. 
Oh, you're going to do this nonsense? I say no. Frankie says no. And honestly, that was pretty rude of you. But now I get to draw a card for free? Beautiful. Give me that free card. This is like my own ancestral vision. Are you winning, son? I'm doing all right outside of the, you know, job situation. Guys, please sign up for HelloFresh. It's keeping me alive. And it's food, so it keeps you alive, too. Everybody wins. I'm actually surprised so few people have signed up for it because it's a really, really good deal. Like, I'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring me. I'm actually saying it as a, a previous HelloFresh user. Uh, job situation being we were all, all of our, our entire design team um, on the project we were working on was laid off in early December. So I've been looking for something else, but you know, a lot of people have been laid off. So uh, their vegetarian options are actually pretty good. Can you imagine if we had like one additional man of this turn to bribery them? So now we're going to have to like go back in time twice. Hmm. Fascinating. So you flip again. I imagine they're going to bounce this guy, though. Because then it's just going to flip and be a card-drawing machine. Yeah, the stream is definitely filling the gap a little bit. Did you see what I accidentally shown because I'm bad? No, I don't think so. I don't even know what that means. Was it with... Was it with expressive iteration? I don't know how that works. Man, my kingdom for a Teferi. Like, they're going up to seven cards, but we also have six cards, so... Plus we go up to seven. Interesting. Calling since you don't target. You got it. I mean, do we reanimate Worm Coil? That sure seems good. <laughs> Okie dokie. Jesus, God. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Nothing we could have done about it. We don't get to robbery back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Yep, this is going to be good. And then we actually have Through the Breach, so you're helping us out. Appreciate your business. Thank you. That's called card drawing. Shalfax, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Uh, do the, do the thing. That's going to be a beautiful one. See, now we actually are going to wait in case they have ways to 
Oh yeah, through the breach. Beautiful. Whew, my hands are getting all sweaty and clammy because I'm anxious. It's okay. We're having a good time. Oh yeah, I can't blame them for this. Um, they would have to like know we had a reanimate spell that could target their graveyard that would bounce riff. Like, again, it's the same as me thinking like they'll never have pester might off the top. You know, like that's just magic. Like even when it happens to me, that's you know, it's just magic. That's just magic. Oh my god. Like, is this going to be another situation where we can just through the breach it? Do they have a counter spell? They have two mana, so they can't actually. <sighs> Guys. Is it happening? They have two mana. They can't pester, they can't kiki. Are we good gamesing in the chat? See, this, this is why you take Emrakul, right? It just does these nonsense things. Subscribe to HelloFresh, guys. It's a great deal. It supports the channel. Thank you guys for watching. You can also slam the like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv or YouTube, wherever you want to find your content. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.